Thank you for watching Queen Anne's County's first ever virtual community panel on drug prevention. Today you're going to hear from many special guests. And first up is Queen Anne's County Commissioner Jim Moran, who's going to tell you about all the things that Queen Anne's County is doing to fight the opioid crisis. My name is Jim Moran. I am the at-large county commissioner for Queen Anne's County. And I've been asked to pass along some information some, and educate you possibly on what Queen Anne's County is doing for the opioid crisis. And I'm going to first start with that. Uh, about five years ago, I got involved with the Drug Free Coalition, which is probably one of the strongest organizations in Queen Anne's County. So, you know, th that is a huge asset to Queen Anne's County. And, and thank God for my fellow commissioners. And we have funded uh, the Drug Free Coalition for the last four years. We've helped fund the uh, Haunted House, Haunted Trap House. Uh, we've, we've funded the signs that you see on the roadways telling you the opioid overdoses and the opioid deaths. And as I said in the past, we don't want to ever see any of our citizens on that board. So that's what we're working towards. I will tell you also that Queen Anne's County is involved in multiple lawsuits against Big Pharma and some of the different opioid uh, painkillers and how they were marketed and how they were put out there to the public that caused a lot of this crisis that we are now in in uh, the United States. So we are actively in those lawsuits and hopefully there'll be some sort of uh, restitution to Queen Anne's County, which will in turn be used to help support education and um, addiction services for those that are afflicted with this disease. Uh, another thing that Queen Anne's County is involved in uh, on a government uh, aspect is the Queen Anne's County Goes Purple. Uh, if you notice, we have kickoffs every year. Our, our local fire departments support it. Our, our uh, government agencies support it. Our, if you notice the water towers, if you're ever driving around in September, you don't know, hey, why is that water tower purple? There it is. Queen Anne's County Goes Purple. Uh, I, I, I can't say enough about Dr. Kane and her commitment to this, um, the, the fighting of these uh, drug issues in Queen Anne's County and in our schools. Uh, she's been a blessing to us as far as allowing us to get in the schools uh, with the Chris Heron uh, programs that we had. Uh, we, we had uh, him speak at both high schools to our high school students and you know how uh, opioids had affected his life in hopes that uh, they don't affect your life. So you know these are just a couple of the things that are going on in Queen Anne's County. And, uh, you know, we've also have our, our, our um, substance abuse uh, coordinator at the school system now that uh, will, will helps in that aspect also for our kids. And, you know, in closing, I'd just like to say that anytime you feel the need that you need to talk to someone, please reach out. Please reach out to your, your family. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your family, your teachers, your coworkers, call us at the at county government, call us at our health department, call us at the Drug Free Coalition, call someone. We're there for you, and we're there for, for your health and well-being, and, and God bless you in what you do.